I have a letter, and this letter is from your daughter, and she wanted me to read it to you today. Do you have a second? Uh, yeah. It says, Dear Mama, I wanted to let you know how very special you are to me and our entire family. You are the greatest example of how to be a mother. I have watched you and dad my entire life and the examples you were to me. You and dad have been the perfect example of what a really great marriage should be. I couldn't ask for better parents. Growing up, I knew when I came home from school, you were always there. And no matter what kind of day I had, good or bad, you were there to talk to me about it. You've had so many trials throughout your life, things that could completely devastate someone, but you and dad were always so happy. You found joy throughout the pain. Then when dad passed away and you were crying, telling dad it's okay to go and that you'll be okay, I saw such strength in you. All of us were falling apart, but you were taking things in stride. I know your heart breaks every day for dad and you miss him tremendously and losing your sweetheart has been the hardest thing you've endured, but you still have faith and know that you will see dad again. I love you so much and I thank Heavenly Father every day for giving me to you. If I can be half the mother and grandmother you are, then I know my children and grandchildren will be just fine. Love, Christy. Love who? Love Christy. Christy did this? So Christy wow. is Christy's actually on the phone with us. She can hear all of this happening. Hi, Christy. Can you hear us? I can. Hi, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Do you hear Quentin squealing back here? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my great grandson. <laughs> At first I I thought that was the way you were crying about the letter and I was a little oh. worried to make sure you were okay. But and I now I know it's a child, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm expecting my seventeenth great grandchild. No and my, way. And my, yeah, and my twenty sixth grandchild. Stop it. Yeah. How do you how do you remember all those birthdays? 26, that's half the weeks of the year. <laughs> it's wrote down in a planner. They, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's an obvious reason why Christy sent us this email, and I know Vina is there with you now. She's in on all of this, but there's one more thing we want to do for you. What's that? So I work for a radio station, Coyote Country, and I host a morning show with my best friend, Amy, and her and our producer are on the phone as well. Amy, can you hear us? Hey, yeah, I can. And do you think, uh, Amy, you could knock on Pat's door for us? I'm walking up to the steps as we speak. Somebody knocking on my door? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, she's walking up. You got a beautiful place Hi. in Boulder City. Hi. Yes. How are you? We got babies, we got dogs, and we've got flowers from our friends at English Garden Florist. Pat, you are the recipient of our Friday flowers delivery. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Somebody help me that I don't drop this. <laughs> You always got to ask, right? You always got to ask in this day and age. Yeah, I've already had the COVID, so, yeah. Well, I mean, that's good. Yeah, no, but I mean, no, it felt like I just had a cold. I never really got that sick, you know, so. Yeah. Aww. Well, this makes me so happy that we can make this happen. And Christy, I know you're on the line with us. Uh, yes. Thank you so much for this beautiful nomination. Your mother is truly incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much.